This is Judge Patty Mayo. Both parties have agreed to abide by the judgment handed down today. The winner will be paid by Patty, and the loser will be subject to the resources of the court to collect their debt. Court is now in session. When the beat drops, DJ Sebastian Marmolejos is suing club owner Sahil Saini, claiming wrongful termination after a year of dedicated service. Sahil spins back, countersuing for defamation, as Sebastian's accusations tarnish the club's reputation. But I know the real reason why he's firing me. I'm an exotic creature from a foreign land with brown eyes. By force, you might be able to get any girl you want. He's been bad-mouthing my business uh, as a... It wouldn't be defamation, because I'm only telling the truth, you know? He could fire you because he doesn't like your shoes. I don't think he said anything that wasn't true. He's been saying that don't go to this club because the owner is but if I'm a good DJ, wouldn't that mean you, you were a piece of shit. This small f That he doesn't have to deal with deal anymore. Yeah, because that's the definition of character. Court calls Sebastian and Sahil. Sebastian is suing his former employee. Actually, why don't you tell me what you're doing? So, yeah, um, I'm suing him for a wrongful termination for over a month. I've been like having to look for a better job. Can you speak up a little bit more? No, nah, I'm suing for wrongful termination. Um, he's over here talking about like making up a bunch of allegations of why he, he's, su he's um, firing me, but I know the real reason why he's firing me. What's his real reason for firing you? Well, so there's this girl he's been talking to uh, one of his workers um, at the club He's been talking to for a while. He's pretty obvious about it. Clearly, he don't, you know, she don't like him. And, you know, she started f with me. And your honor, you know, I'd be around the club, you know, doing what I do. Like, I'll do whatever after hours. He don't mind. He don't care. You don't, don't say nothing. But once I start f this girl, it's a problem. And a week later, he fires me. So with no warning, no nothing. And it's like, you know, and then he brings up all this other stuff that got nothing to do with it. I don't know, it's weird, y'all. Okay. What's your version of events? Well, uh, I didn't fire him for any uh, wrongful termination or anything like that. I fired him because he was taking the job as an easy job. He was not coming on time. And there's no reason to bring a girl around. I'm a night owner, a nightclub ma owner. I can have all the around. Uh, look at me. I'm an exotic creature from a foreign land with brown eyes. I can get any girl I want. By force, you might be able to get any girl you want. Well, that's what you think, Judge. Yeah. Yo. I, I wouldn't be... This isn't the time of the praise to be, like, touting your, your, your manhood, your mojo. So why don't you t tell me why you fired him? I fired him because he was coming late to the job uh, where he was supposed to be at six. And I gave him many, many times that he could... Uh, I gave him warnings that he should be on time because of him. I had to hire other DJs because sometimes he doesn't even bother to show up because he's taking his job lightly. Okay. And you're, and you're counter suing for $1,500 or $1, for defamation of character for him bringing you here today. That's right. In what ways did he defame you? He's been bad-mouthing my business uh, as a... As long as I fired him, uh, he's been going uh, viral on internet because I'm the one who made him as a DJ. Uh, he was nothing. Before he joined my club, he was nothing. That's I made him into what he is now. I made him a lot of money and now he's bad mouthing my business saying that don't go to this club because the owner is- Do you have proof of that? Uh, I have, uh, I need continuous in order to submit proof. What? I need continuous. Uh, you can find online on the website that my business has been going down. Okay, uh, but you can't, you can't show any proof that, that can be attributed to him. You can go to the website online for my um, nightclub and see the ratings going down because of he bad mouthing it. Okay. Judge, for, for one, this is a right to work state. So he can fire him for any reason as long as it's not based on a protected class. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't be defamation because I'm only telling the truth, you know? Oh, so now he just admitted it. No, no. He just uh, admitted that he's been bad-mouthing me. I'm not bad-mouthing, I'm just telling you the truth. You're saying that he, he wrongfully terminated you because he terminated you for going off with maybe one of his girls? Yes. Okay, that's not wrongful termination. You can terminate somebody for that. If you work in my place of business and I claim something and then you try to move in on my claim, I can fire you. Regardless, so. But why didn't he do that with all the other girls? That's not the reason he fired you. He could fire you because he doesn't like your shoes. Exactly. Which, but, but, case in point. Case in point, but. I, I can't see anybody's shoes. If, if the court would, people in the court would stop pointing out shoes. The reason I fired him, it was not because of. It doesn't matter why you fired him. You right. had cause, That's so. what I'm telling, but. Well, it does matter as long as you didn't fire him because he's black or because, you know, 
Right. So the fact that pretty much the only thing. If he's going around and he's he's bad mouthing my business, bad mouthing so business. That's, that's defamation. defamation. Yeah, that's definitely defamation. That wouldn't be defamation. I'm only. But he doesn't have any evidence to that defamation. No, you can go online and check my readings before. You could have gone online and printed it out for me. I'm not your attorney. Or your defense attorney, or am I here to pre pre prepare preparing? Your Honor, if I show, if I say that you're shorting people and I post it and it's true, how would that be? I didn't say that I'm awarding him anything for defamation of character. You have a freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want. And yeah. there's a lot to there's a lot to say about him. It's not entirely accurate, Judge. What's that? He admitted it. That's fine, but he has a right to say what he wants to say, does he not? Yes, no. of course. It's a freedom of speech. Not under defamation laws. It's fine. He can speak as long as I can count. I don't think he said anything that wasn't true. What's it? What did he say that it wasn't true? Uh, he said that he's not been defaming me. No, no. What did he say that's not true? He said that that's the truth. That he's not been defaming me. It's the truth that uh. No. What has he been saying bad about your business? He's been saying that don't go to this club because the owner is. He doesn't like the customers. He doesn't deal with them good. You That's what he's been saying. You said that? Well, it's a matter of opinion. That would be great if he brought some Google reviews or something yeah, yeah. to the table. I don't find any um, any damages for his for his opinion that he posted. Um, people can go in there and they can form their own opinions. Well, people can form the opinion, but a uh, uh, previous employee bad mouthing the business, and plus he got a name because he's a good DJ. When he worked for me, he was nobody, but I made him into something. And now he wants to badmouth me. He should be grateful to what I made him. But if I'm a good DJ, wouldn't that mean? But nobody knew you before you met me. You, you were a piece of shit living on the road. This small I'm the one who got you into something. Uh, I'm the one, uh, why are you wearing those clothes? Otherwise you'd be begging on the street if I gave you nothing. Yo, you I think Sebastian's up. lucky that he got fired. Your honor, like he's over here, he's over here making up shit now. He needs to heal? No, I think Sebastian got the better end of this deal by getting fired, that he doesn't have to deal with this deal anymore. That's true. That's one man's opinion. You don't want to deal with me, that's fine. But as long as- How'd you come up with the $1,500? As long as you're under my roof, you're gonna have to follow my rules. You gotta do what I'm gonna say. But that's fine, you fired him. That's over and done with. Now you want to now you want to now you want to counter him, but he doesn't have a he doesn't have a claim against you. And I don't think you have a claim against him. I do have a claim against him. I want to sue him for every penny he got. That's a want, not a claim. No, but your honor, I had over one month where I was supposed to be on contract with him and we're supposed to be, you know, he just fired me out of nowhere. It was a week before. Do you have that contract with you at this time? No, I don't have it. So the contract doesn't exist. As far as I know. Did you give him a contract? No, I don't. That's a lie, Your Honor. Well, that's fine. It, there's no evidence to prove it. So, Aaron, do you think your client has a claim here? I do. Yeah. Against what? I mean, look, if he's, it's going to be up to him to prove that the statements that he made were truthful. All right. So, any any impact that he may have had on on my client's business, that's up to him. Is defamation, and he hired him for a reason. He obviously didn't complete the job. He can fire him for whatever reason. So now we've had to drag my client here in court to answer for a false claim. And now his business is up for it. And wasting my valuable time in court. Okay, so what is your client willing to accept for defamation or cause and time? I, I want the complete 1500. I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, because that's defamation of character. He's been ruining my business up and down. So you're not willing to mitigate? I don't you think so. Mitigate. Mr. Prepare, does your client want to mitigate? Uh, one minute, Judge. I think you should read the writing on the wall and mitigate the damages, which means not asking for the full 1500. Why don't okay. we do 500? Okay. That's fair. Judge, how about 500? Mr. Zeal, 500? Yes. That will settle your claim against him? Yes. For now. How about 400? 450. 450, Judge? Let me see what I'm going to do with Sebastian. Sebastian, you don't have a claim against Sahil, uh, but you will have a debt to pay to this court somewhere in the amount of 400 or $450. Do you intend on taking that as debt or do you intend on turning yourself into the Dutchbury jail? I'll take that as debt. You'll take that as debt? Okay, I will award. What, what's your- What's that? What's your basis on that? Because he's brought no proof of his defamation. The only- th He's agreed to the defamation. He's agreed to it in part and he, and, he, and he dragged him here for, and he dragged him here for- Yeah, I was gonna say time. Time, time and consideration. Business owner. Wasting his all his whole afternoon for this. What's that? That's worth, that's worth something. Yeah. Frivolous claim. Sahil, I'm awarding you 
$250. Mr. Sebastian, I'm going to give you credit of $150 for your time, but you don't have a claim. Any final thoughts, questions, comments, concerns? Well, I don't think 250 is enough, Judge. I don't think you have that strong of a, a case to claim against it. You don't have any evidence. You have any proof. You haven't brought a single shred of evidence to the court. And he has a right to freedom of speech. He does. He does have a freedom of speech, but not about my business. Yes, of course he does. No, he's he's not going to my club to defame it. He's defaming it. Because but you don't have any of that proof. You're not bringing any of that proof to bring that claim up. But I can make him agree to the, what I'm saying. He's the one he... he I don't think he's going to agree that he's defaming. No, he just agreed. I don't think he's going to agree to getting into more debt well, with this court. Judge, you heard him before. He said that he's the one defaming me. You have no proof. Okay. Your argument's weak. You have a weak argument. I think you're giving him a gift. Yeah. We'll take the 250, Judge. What's that? We'll take the 250. All right, case is dismissed. What did you think about the judge's ruling today? No, yeah, I thought I thought the judge's ruling was bullshit, you know, like, like it made no sense, like I'm over here working long hours and I stayed with extra, extra long shifts, you know, lied about a whole bunch of things, but it's, it is what it is, you know. What did you think about the results of her court case today? Uh, I think judge was not entirely in my favor. I don't know why, but I feel it could have been more. My case was strong. Uh, I just didn't have evidence at the moment because I didn't prepare for it. I just knew about the case in the morning. I'm a busy man. Next time on Judge Patty Mayo. She saw him in a white t-shirt with blood all over it leaving my apartment. And I don't think she has no evidence of me having white t-shirts. The dog now, honestly, dead. But where's the body of the dog? The body, he put it behind our apartment. So you can say it is a body with no pictures of a body. The police haven't charged Mr. McNabb with a crime. I can be frustrated without murdering a dog. Knowing the dog was missing to help her get a new dog? Split the baby down the middle. That's what they do, right? Moral of the story, he killed my dog.